Hi. So today I am crazy about these pockets and I really wanted to show you how I created them and what I have. So um, I made two types of uh, pockets. They are smaller ones. They are around seven centimeters by 10 centimeters and they are stitched and they are really cutesy and you can go through a lot a lot of pages if you wanted to so if you um really like these that i already made and you would like to get them you can go on my etsy shop they are already in and you can get them by different color or mixed color or just specific you know color um whatever you're making for your projects so that's that and i will have these as well there so you can purchase um stenciled um how do you call that like um handwritten ones they're really cool um so let me show you i'll i'll flip through the stack first like really quickly and then we can go start make some i love the threads you can uh if you decide that you don't like that you can just cut it off and that's it but basically every pocket is stitched and on the back everything is edged so you can actually have it for a floating pocket or put a paper clip on the back and have it as that um so it's however you want it to do um i've seen the tutorial um with no sewing um on wendy's channel i will link wendy's channel down below so you can go check as well her a video that inspired me and uh, i think that was um the initial idea for me to start and make so many <laughs> um but I have to say they're really easy to make. Um, I used crayons to color all of the pages and this is some gold on it. You can use whatever you want. You can use acrylics or watercolors, but crayons and stenciling um, made it really quick and easy to, to make, right? Because um, I don't want to wait for pages to dry because that would, you know, I'm not that kind of, uh, I cannot wait for, for a long time to get my project done and this one is stitched with a uh, zigzag stitch so if you like one or the other better you can do with zigzag stitch um for some reason i was using a lot of zigzag and um i do like it for sure but i kind of like it better with straight stitch on these ones um and they're just this one is both this one is um crayoned <laughs> if that's the word i use crayons on it and then stenciled a little bit and the back is plain i mean just some color um but they're really really awesome i know the text is turned on the other side but i don't mind you can put an embellishment or a word or something you know on that corner if you wanted to i used some of the stuff that i had around the house this was the mat that is gridded and i used the crayon on it to make a texture so that's another way that you can actually use um your stuff around the house and you can make really cool awesome looking patterns with it um another thing you can do you can stamp on it you can take your regular uh inks and just stamp and uh use it that way because i i have a few that i did use a stamping technique this is another really heavy um crayon one because i these are really 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 cheap crayons right and these are way more expensive crayons and these are more glossy but the feel is smooth um like really good feel to it and the last black one and the images are not a problem at all as you can see um i blacked or just went over with crayons on the images okay so this is this stack right really huge stack and the other one is this is another um i think this was the first one that i started making these kind of uh pockets and the measurements for this one are a little bit bigger uh, let me see tiny bit bigger for a hair um and uh yeah they are stenciled so inside are basically um wide whenever i you you open it because i stenciled on the top i really love this stencil it's really special and i love this one oh my god it looks so good 
And sometimes I put the same stencil on the back and sometimes I just do something totally different and I love this one. Can you see how, how awesome it looks? I don't know, or is it just me? Uh, like, I love it. I just love it. And the handwriting makes it really unique. And I love that. And I know you can't read anything because uh, it's in my language, but I think it's uh, in any language, even if it's in English, I used some dots on, on the back. Um, but I wanted to embellish both sides because you don't know for what kind of project you're going to need them or if you decide to actually, um, let me show you, use that pocket that is double sided on page, on the end of the page. So you have the pocket on both sides. Um, you know, one side is a tag spot and the other side is uh, two pockets. So it's really up to you what you're going to do with them and how you're going to utilize them. But it's a really, really, really good way to um, use up those book pages and everything that calls paper. Um, clearly, I've been trying with just two type right now, but um, you can use... Um, other types of paper like wrapping paper if you really want to go to the junky junky side and try to utilize a lot of things you can take packaging from cookies chocolates all of the sweets that you have that it's a little bit bigger and you can fold it in this way and make yourself really cool nice looking pockets so um, use the wrapping paper if you have it uh, use um, any packaging that you get that it's not so stiff so you can fold and you can stitch on it if you have a sewing machine if you don't have a sewing machine what you can do is just um, put some lines with your marker on it and that's we're gonna look really nice as well and you just glue this side okay so first I wanted to talk about paper right um, like I said before, you can use anything at all. Um, I have some glossy paper here. This is a manual for I don't even know what. Um, so you can use that. Um, and I love the glossy ones because um, if you're stitching, um, you don't need to glue. Everything's going to stay and hold together. And usually papers are really thick. Okay, so you can use that. This is a little bit smaller than A5. This is from a heat gun. Uh, another manual you can use. Really good papers, um, thicker paper, and you can use something like that as well. Here I have just a book page from a book. Here I have another book, Slovenian book, that um, has the, um, the text is from one side to another. Um, it doesn't have a lot of big borders. Um, but that's not really important. The important thing is you have a paper to work with. This is kids book um, that I got uh, and I am putting some in the shop if you're interested to buy. Um, I can flip through this one. This is the latest one. These um, pages are semi-glossy. Um, so I hope I'm in frame. And you know there is all in slovenian and these one comes with some postcards there are two, um, four sets of postcards so i am going to use those in something very soon and really nice picture and even the the how it's printed it's really nice printing i love that and the colors are so vibrant so if you are interested to purchase some of these um kids books then go ahead and just check it in etsy store um and i will be putting more of different kinds because i do have them uh saved and then the other thing if you really don't have anything then you can just go with a regular magazine it can be colored it can be whatever you can find it can be newspaper um, this is some of the ones that I started already, even though it has holes here, I don't mind. Um, and this, when you fold them, they're going to be bigger. Um, so as you can see, even the pictures, I just, I just draw on top of them. Another thing that you could use, this is a little bit thinner, but I would use this as well. Uh, maybe back it up on something or use two sheets of same um, advertisement just glued together uh, loosely because you just need to fold it if you're gonna use sewing machine um, here I did some experimenting 
and if you put acrylics on it's really stiffer so I was thinking maybe I could use this side or maybe I can just glue them together and use as one page and fold it and stitch to make cool pocket okay so I will start with I can show you some of the designs that I already made. These are all stenciled. Um, just went crazy. These pockets that I made before are stenciled after. So I put the stencil on before stitching. I have Primo crayons, wax based crayons. Um, like I said, you can use anything you want. I will use these um, as to make some of the variation and stuff. Um, I kind of like these better to make um, different shapes and I have another set these ones triangle looking ones you can even use leaves can you see that this is really awesome so I'm going to go with I don't know let me see with green and just go with my edge on the paper to put some color in Hopefully I'm all in frame. If not, I'm so sorry. And it's basically done. You have put some paint on the paper or some color to the paper. Um, if you wanted to, you can take a pointy crayon and make something on it. I like to use simple shapes a lot of times. I don't need to think a lot just make and play and I feel like I wanted to put some yellow in it so I will color these shapes I know we don't use crayons as much now we have those water solubles and stuff like that but I think um, using and going back to what we used to use as kids or you know before all of the new stuff came out it's really good to use what we already have in our home so usually go around the house and try to make some texture thingies for my jelly plate and yeah you can find a lot of things so one of the things that I actually use in my kitchen is this this is like cutting board on the other side you cut and this is the grid is just so it's not sliding so I love to put this under page and using the crayon look at that can you see that makes this really awesome texture and whichever direction you go it's gonna make the texture I don't mind that um, I put some of the color on my uh, mat. I really don't mind. If you offset it a little bit, then you can take another color and go over that as well. In this case, I think I'm going to take gold. And go up and down to make two-toned paper. I'm going to show you in a second how that looks like. Can you see that? And it looks like that. Like simple, like not even a minute. We just rubbed it in and it takes no seconds to make it. Um, these papers, yeah, you can make it for whatever you want, even on white paper if you don't have, um, you know, stuff that I have. So I will make another one with two different colors as well. And then I'm going to show you what else I found in my house. Let me show you this one as well. Whoop. I just love it. Uh, I could do that like uh, for days. I could make papers like that. Um, okay, so... If you don't have a mat like that, what you can do is you can get bag from fruit or vegetables. Let's try that. 
and uh, you can put it onto your working space you put it under your paper and let's try to get some of the look at that can you see that let's try not to move it because you're, if you're gonna move then uh, it's gonna be it's not so clear the image is more blurry but if I do move it let me move it a little bit okay I did it I'm gonna use green as well because I think oh yeah I love that it's way different like you can never <laughs> get papers like that anywhere a while back I was gluing that kind of mesh in even this one on the regular junk mail you've probably seen that video on my youtube channel if not i'm gonna link it down below you can go check so when i was making some papers um i figured yeah i can glue just on the actual paper and use that as a stencil as well so let me see how that's gonna work it's not gonna move on you because it's semi-glued i didn't use a, a lot of glue on it and i have blue here look at that just go in all directions How easy and simple is that? Like awesome. I really like that. So even for your jelly plates, yeah, you can use stuff like that for sure. Why not? Um, I think I'm going to offset it a little bit. I don't know what how it was before, but maybe I can try it like this, like totally different direction. Um, and taking my gold making some marks I really like golden I have silver as well in, in this pack of crayons okay so this and if it's white paper you would get this right okay so just throwing some balls at you so you can actually think about it what you can use up i made this a while back these are all the teeny bitsy and small things and small threads um stitched together but if i turn it around this is on a cardboard i have the grid and i want to use the grid let's try it out i'm gonna put the grid beneath and let me just see how that's gonna go. Ooh, I love it. In white paper, it would look really, really good. Can you see? Rubbing. I'm gonna offset it a little bit. And use silver. I do have silver, look. But I'm not sure. Hey, it's not showing much. Maybe I can do brown. Looks more red to me. But I love the lines. You can use your dies to make shapes and glue them on a piece of cardboard. Put that cardboard underneath the page and rub it. I have some stencils here that I want to rub, rub, rub. Oh my god, I love that. So if you don't have inks, another way to rub, rub, rub. And I have another stencil here that I'm going to put underneath. I'm gonna use red. Can you see that? So, like punching out from the cardboard or filling one layer on the cardboard, all of those things can give you texture and it's really good for rubbing. So, if you don't have that, then just cut them out by, by hand. You can make flowers, you can make whatever you want, really. Um, you're not limited, so try it out. Play! Look, look at this.
you know stencils if you buy them on ebay um a set of four or set of eight is around two three dollars you know so they're really cheap this is another try that i try to do i'm gonna use this stencil this was a try with doily so if you have more than just one doily in your house oh i love that I wanted to use this page. This is uh, one of the pages that I really, really like. I'm gonna just tear it out, fold it. So the one side that you wanted to have outside, it has to look towards you when you're when you're gonna cut. Okay. And yes, you can make a left and right pocket if you wanted to. You just cut a different. Um, I'll show you. Okay, we fold it on both sides and now this is the text that it's going, right, that you can read. I will turn it around and cut the right one out, okay? Okay, let's do it. So we have that. I'm gonna turn it around and start making my pocket one fold on the top hopefully you can see something yep and i'm turning it around and making another flap here about an inch from the middle okay now let me check how this looks like that looks nice okay my piece that it's gonna go here Oh, way better. What I need to do is now ink it and then I can come back and stitch it up. Okay, so my inks are not here. And I have this marker which I want to use to make my pockets look more um, finished. And you can use another piece of paper if uh, you want some diversity and... Uh, that you think it goes to with colors of your pocket come on it's not straight that's why I'm trying to take it off so many times okay it's glued down kind of yep it's working let me cut this off let me fold this baby back up it's gonna be more sturdy when I do. I feel like this video is gonna be way too long. I thought it's gonna be like five minutes or some. Now what I'm gonna do is stitch it and that's gonna be finished pocket. I'm gonna stitch from up here, down here, here, turning it, here, here, here and then folding it back together and stitching from the bottom like so here and here that's all that i'm gonna do okay let's do it i think it looks good um I have this loop on the end and I usually just um, cut it and I'm going to leave all of the danglies. I usually don't cut, um, cut them off really closely because I kind of like it. If you want to make this kind of pocket, you would just use the pocket that it's already edged. You can stitch it or you cannot stitch it, that's up to you and just use the stencil. Something like so. I'm going to use this. Usually I don't uh, use my dauber for that. But I'm gonna dab, dab, dab and a little bit of rub, rub, rub. And I think I'm kinda good to go. Let me see, yeah, even my table is. If you're gonna make a lot of them, it's going to take you a long time for sure, but um, you're gonna have them at the ready. Um, if you don't feel like making them, then uh, pop, pop onto my Etsy store and check them out. 
just check it out and I'm really happy that I was able to do this tutorial for you guys. You can share some creative projects with me on my Facebook group Starving Emma outside the box. I'm gonna put all of the details and information down below in the description box and when this video that I got inspired to do these pockets. Thank you very much for watching and happy crafting! Bye!